The actress Lisa Kudrow there on the stand in her own defense in a courtroom battle with her former manager. He claims she owes him nearly $2 million of her earnings from the mega hit Friends and other projects. ABC Cecilia Vega has the story. She was center stage at a very different kind of show. Lisa Valerie Kudrow. On the stand in a Los Angeles courtroom, the former Friends star defending herself against a lawsuit brought by her ex-manager, who claims Kudrow owes him $1.7 million, a percentage of what the Emmy winner earns in reruns and other projects. The usually secret inner workings of that hit show and the millions Kudrow earned from it all on full display. Even that first Friends contract she signed when she was a struggling actress, where she earned about $13,000 an episode, entered as evidence for the jury to see. I didn't like that it was the lowest paid performer on the show. They said that they, no one was going to get paid more than this, so... You learned later that that was not the case. That's right. Okay, and how did you learn that? From speaking to the other actors. Kudrow said the cast banded together and negotiated as a group to boost their pay as the show's success climbed. We all relied on each other. In the final seasons, Kudrow earned more than a million per episode. The issue before the jury, whether Kudrow owes her former manager Scott Howard money from what she earned after they parted ways. They had an oral agreement that Howard managed Kudrow in exchange for a 10% cut. I believe that at the end of the day, the agreement should be honored. Despite their long time Time partnership, it was far from a friendly day in court. After the actress, who played the always sweet, often ditzy Phoebe, noodles with string, <laughs> repeatedly told Howard's lawyer she didn't understand his questioning, this. You really in real life bear no relationship to the character of Phoebe, right? <laughs> you mean like right now? I don't know. She was pretending to be dumb during cross-examination. You're not acting now, right? The Friends star's camp says it has no comment until this case is closed. For Good Morning America, Cecilia Vega, ABC News, Los Angeles. Thank you, Cecilia. Something of a curious turn there to discuss now with our chief legal affairs anchor, Dan Abrams. A and Dan, how important was this testimony that we saw from Lisa Kudrow? Yeah, this is one of those rare cases where the testimony of the defendant isn't that important. And why? How she comes across is important, meaning whether the jurors like her in general, do they want to help her or hurt her, yes, that's important. But the substance of what she's saying isn't that much at issue, meaning it seems that they basically agreed that they had this oral contract, that it ended in 2007. And the question now is, is he entitled as a manager, as opposed to an agent, uh, to the residuals? What's the difference? Well, in theory, an agent's supposed to be the one who cuts the deal, and as a result is entitled to everything that comes from that deal. Again, in theory, the manager is managing the person's career and life. The problem is in Hollywood these days, managers and agents very often do the same thing. And so that's now the important legal question here is, the, you know, the manager's saying, look, ask other managers. A manager who helps with a deal like this is expecting to get a cut of that throughout the person's career. So then how enforceable in this case is this oral agreement? Well, it, it, believe it or not, oral agreements are very enforceable. The question just becomes, what was the agreement, yeah. right? So, so it, there's not a question about, is an oral agreement enforceable? The question is, what was the agreement specifically? And that's the problem with oral agreements, is you don't exactly know what the agreement was. I think we're going to find out just how enforceable right. that oral agreement was, Dan, thank you.